Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. In this video, I'm going to do a showcase of most of the drawings I did over the past year, 2017. So I'm going to jump right into that, have a look, talk a bit about some of them, and talk about what's coming up next. Let's do it! Alright, we're jumping in. First piece, Elven Lead. I really liked this one. I thought it was pretty cool. Good start to the year. My drawings were kind of down, downhill from here. <laughs> this one took so long. I'm looking over here because I'm looking at my computer as it's playing, so sorry I'm not doing the whole eye contact thing, watching, watching you, watching there. But that piece was based off an artwork by Min Monster, who's an insanely good anime style artist. Follow her on Instagram. It was based off that, it was for a competition. It was meant to be a color in, but I wanted to redraw the line work. I changed it a little bit and it took so long. Just the detail in the hair was insane, but I'm really happy with how that piece turned out. Probably one of my favorite pieces of the year. Another one of my favorites, Freddy Fazbear. I really liked how this turned out. A lot of detail, detail, a lot of detail. So I thought it was really cool, the texture in it. And that's something I've really tried to do through a lot of my pieces is add a lot of texture with a white gel pen on top, highlights and that type of thing. I do that a lot. I did the art style challenge with Jeff the Killer. That was a fun one to do. The next few pieces were inspired by a really awesome artist who unfortunately passed away recently. It really sucks. Lakeness Oils on Instagram. He's been a massive inspiration for me over the past year when I found his artworks and just the expressive techniques that he uses were really inspiring to me and what I've strived to try and do with my Copic pieces to give it almost a painterly feel, have lots of texture, dripping effects and I owe a lot of that to him and helping me try some different techniques and really get inspired by that. So I'm really grateful I found his artwork and it's been probably one of the biggest inspirations for me over the past year. And you'll see a lot of that influence in these pieces, which I did over the past year. Here's my Foxy drawing, which I was meant to do a part three to the Five Nights at Freddy's creepypasta videos, which I made. I did the part one and two and kind of left the story hanging. So <laughs> I'm sorry if anyone's still waiting for that, maybe one day. I actually started recording the audio for it and I just never finished it. I don't know, I thought I was going to, but then I did a different video and I never went back. So maybe I'll finish it. I thought it was pretty cool. I actually enjoyed those stories, these creepypasta videos. I thought they were good, written pretty well. So maybe I will in the new year, we'll see. <laughs> We'll see what happens. I've got this Lulu drawing. That was an interesting one. It's kind of cool. It was kind of tough because she doesn't have eyes and often the eyes are the main point of interest of the artwork and that's what really draws you in. So when you take away the eyes, it can look a little bit weird, especially an anime face because there's not much depth to it. It's kind of like, tiny nose and stuff, so it kind of just looks like a blank. I don't know. It was kind of cool. It was all right. Maybe, I don't know. Bendy and the Ink Machine. That was a kind of cool one. Liu, Lou Woods? Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Jeff's brother with a massive neck. I kind of overdid that neck a little bit. I think especially because he's wearing a scarf, the scarf should have been higher up. So, whoops. But I had a lot of fun doing the kind of ripped paper look and then the textured concrete in the background. So I've done a bunch of drawings that have that look and I think it's really cool. I have a lot of fun doing that. It kind of frames the character pretty cool with the just blending into the paper type of thing, like it's, they're coming out of the paper. So I've definitely done a lot of that with my drawings and I like it. I think it's fun. I think it looks good. I've got this creepy Elsa drawing. It's kind of really disturbing, this one. It's kind of gross how her skin's like stitched on. I don't know what I was thinking with that one. Really gross. It's still kind of cool. I did 
kind of a different style with this piece here. With this girl, it's kind of a bit looser, less line work, and I think it was kind of cool for a quicker drawing. I've got this faceless deer, which was kind of for a short story. It was kind of a boring drawing, honestly. How do you make a faceless deer look interesting? I don't know, it kind of just looks like a chicken nugget to me. <laughs> But that was my attempt at it. So I've got a couple of smaller drawings here, which were for some short stories. This gremlin, again with the paper tearing effect. I think it looks really cool. I like its glowing yellow eyes. I think it just looks really cool. I'm happy with it. Not that many people watched this video. I thought it was a cool video. Go watch the video. <laughs> and is this the doll maker? Kind of reminds me of CL Phantom Hive, is that his name? Black Butler. I never actually watched that show, but it kind of looks like him. This one is based off Yuri on Ice. I can't remember his name, I never watched it honestly. But it's based off... What's his name? Victor! That's the one! It's based off Victor, but it's like the emo version of Victor. <laughs> Another monster! So many monsters. With lots of teeth. Really gross. A fun piece to work on. Again, lots of texture, blood splatters, all that type of thing. My memory card just filled up, so I had to go and delete some stuff. But now we're back into it. Masky and Hoodie from the Marble Hornets. I really like this drawing. I think it's pretty cool. Could have done some of it better, honestly. The face is a little bit weird. Kind of looks like a fly, that red eye thing. I don't know. <laughs> I actually like this one quite a lot. It's really simple. It's not actually of a specific character. It was just from a story. There was a masked figure. And I think it's really simple and effective. I like it more than I thought I would. This was the three marker challenge. I think it's really cool for three markers. I think I got quite a lot of kind of color variations in there. It was a fun Halloween piece. And here's my Levi drawing. I did this draw this again challenge or whatever and I think it turned out pretty cool I didn't mind it it's all right got so many drawings here that's one thing I noticed just watching back and flicking through all the drawings which I did I've got like a massive stack of them and I definitely did a lot of drawings and I think a lot of that is thanks to you guys thanks to YouTube because it's really forced me to do a new drawing each week Back when I first started on YouTube, I was pretty slack. I would spend so long on each drawing and I'd try really hard, but honestly, looking back, I was just slack with it. I was extremely inefficient with managing my time and actually doing a lot of drawings. I tried to spend ages on each one and some of them turned out pretty cool, admittedly, for how old I was. I think I did some pretty good artworks, but I just didn't do enough. I wasn't practicing enough. And I think I suffered because of it. Like, it doesn't really matter in the greatest scheme of things, but I would have improved quicker if I had been more carefree with my drawings. Now, my drawings don't have to be perfect, but I want to get them done and move on to the next thing and just keep improving is the main thing. So my advice to anyone who's an up and coming artist and someone who really wants to improve is just to draw lots. Often we think we draw a lot, but sometimes we don't. <laughs> you know, if you've only doing a couple of drawings over the year, uh, you probably could draw more. But at the end of the day, we're all on our own journeys with art. If you just want to have fun, that's fine. You don't have to be the best artist in the world or anything like that, no such thing. I still have heaps of improving to do. I'm having fun with it. I draw things which I wanna draw. I do fan art, not everything super original. I just have fun with it and learn at my own pace. And you know, that's what I'm here to do. I just showed you guys some bonus drawings. I did some kind of art challenges with a white gel pen, ballpoint pen, Cheap art supplies, the eraser only challenge. I might do this again. This was a pretty fun one to do actually. So maybe I'll do that. That was a lot of fun. It just breaks your wrist trying to 
put down all the black gray lead underneath. But here are a couple of bonuses, some line works I did maybe even a couple of years ago now, which I never colored because honestly, a lot of them aren't that original. Some of them were actually original drawings, but a lot of them was just like looking at reference and copying it. So I'm kind of trying to move away from that a little bit. Uh, but it'd still be fun to color some of them if you'd like to see any of these specific ones colored. That one's a kind of cool one. Uh, maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of draw what I feel like drawing at the moment and that's what I've been doing. So that has been the majority of my drawings over the past year. There are a couple of missing ones. Some of them I've framed up and given away. So there is a couple more drawings there, but that's most of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that and have enjoyed watching my videos over the past year. Thank you guys who have stuck around and welcome to everyone who's come to my channel over the past year. I wish you all the best. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for sticking around. And I will catch you guys in the next drawing video. Yeah. Doing something completely different. I've been getting comfortable doing the same type of horror drawings, the portraits, and I wanted to do something different. I thought it'd be cool to really step outside of my comfort zone, try something completely different. So what can be more different from portrait horror drawings to modern architecture? I don't know.